where are you living now? Um, and I remember I was just in tears because I was arrested on a pretty serious warrant that I had been running from. Um, and my life was just kind of in shambles at that point. Um, and I remember I was kind of just speaking out loud to myself and just, I kind of said, or maybe I even asked you, like, is my life always going to be like this? And I remember you paused for a second and um, then turned to me and kind of had this conversation with me about, you don't have to live like this and this doesn't have to be your life. I'm sure you didn't realize how, how powerful that was for me and and the ripple effect that that created, right? Like now I, at working in addictions, like I touch so many other people's lives. think that if that conversation hadn't happened, I don't know that I would be where I'm at today um, in life. I just want to thank you for that. Of course. Um, and I, I think it says less about what I had to say and more what you did with it. Um, I, I can't tell you how impressed I am with uh, the self-reflection you did and the self-awareness that you had. I know exactly what moment you're talking about in the hospital. I was standing on your left hand side in the emergency room. You were in a bed still. And uh, I do remember that pause. And it was like you flipped a switch and, uh, and you started thinking about things in a totally different light. I don't use the word hero or heroic very often, but the, the journey you've had is truly heroic.